So welcome to Sylve's Kitchen. Hey guys, today is Tuesday. And on Tuesdays I'm going to be doing what happens when I do something. I wanted to see what happens when you soak Coca-Cola in meat. So I went to Winco, this food store that's open 24 hours, and I bought breakfast beef. I brought my kitchen in here because I don't want to wake my roommates. Right here on this chair, um, I'm going to start off with putting the meat in the pan. We have some meat here, and I have some soda, and I'm going to put it in. I think we have to let it sit for a while. I also wanted to try something else with soda. Hence I bought the little baby pan. I have a quarter, a dirty penny, an old dime. Okay, see here? Put them all in there. See this goldfish? No, you're not. You're going in the pan. Already it's floating in there. While we're waiting, I figured I'd give you a little history lesson on coke. Coke used to consist of actual cocaine made from the coca plant. When the government found out how coke was affecting the public and they realized that uh, work production went down, they decided to ban a coke in Coca-Cola, like the actual cocaine plant, and use it as an incentive for labor and to make people want to work. They actually made uh, cocaine illegal, taking it out of the soda forever, and they just decided to stop kids um, on the street that were selling coke or were in possession of coke and just take it, just take it away from them and use the coke as powder for their donuts. And we wait. The fish seems to have opened itself up, kind of, and bloated out. As you can see, still waiting. Nothing is happening. I am the meat manga, and I have come to poison your bellies. Heed my words. This is what I do at home. So stay tuned and make sure to come back and watch me on Wednesday for my What I Learned uh, vlog on Self Says. And we'll go back and see what's going on with this meat and the coins. And I will see you then.